Hey guys, welcome back. I'm EDC Gunner and I'm your watch guy. And today I'm gonna show you how to change a look of a watch on a cheap and easy way. Some of you are watch guys and you know this, but some of you are not and some of you are newbies and just beginning or you have just one watch, have a nice watch, but uh, different occasions require different, different looks. So, the uh, thing is that uh, watches aren't that affordable and even nice watches, decent watches aren't that cheap and especially if you have even more higher end watches and you maybe saved up for a watch and you have one watch but it's better to have just one decent watch than a 10 uh, crappy one. So. Uh, today I want to show you how to change the look if you don't have much watches and change the look of your watch with the help of a watch band. So you replace a watch band, watch strap, whatever you call it. So here I have two watches. These are two good watches. This is Orient Mako and this is Orient Blu-ray. I will show you on them, I will demonstrate to you how to do it. So basically I'm not gonna show you how to change a watch band, I'm just gonna cut it here. Okay guys, I'm back. This took a little longer than I expected and that's the, that's I think uh, I had a sea salt in one of my watches and this one I took it to the, the summer, I took it to the beach, I swam with it and even though I rinsed it, the spring bar uh, stuck inside I had to pull it out I had a hard time taking it out I had to break out all my watch tools up in here and this corner uh, just to remove these two spring bars from this one this one went okay and uh, I think that's that will be the beauty of these quick release spring bars I even scratched a little bit my watch in the process however I do have one tip for you guys, so I'm going to give you the tip while I'm changing the bands. And uh, these are Barton watch bands. And uh, let me just show you. I will put them in the description box. Barton watch bands. So, yeah, let's make this video look cool. So we have here look all nice and fancy. So I'm going to put this here. Uh, and I like, I don't like, usually I don't like silicone watch bands, but I think this will just work here. So uh, I want to give you a tip while I put in this band and the smaller one with the buckle goes on 12 o'clock. So I will just show you how it, how it's easy with this one. And after this quick release bands, I may not return to the normal ones again. So the tip is when you are buying a watch, there's an option to buy it on a bracelet or on a leather band or whatever other band. Make sure to buy it on a bracelet uh, because the bracelet is the most expensive and you can always get replacement watch bands. They are not that expensive like the bracelets and they are super easy and especially this one here with the quick release. They are easy to replace and change and uh, the leather bands uh, you have to replace anyways because of the sweat and uh, they deteriorate naturally. Uh, they develop, sometimes they develop funky smell, uh, but the watch bracelet is always the smartest option when you buy in a watch. And after a while, if you don't like bracelets, you can change it. So. I think this one walks the bump. I don't know about you guys, but I love this red color. I think this this is the bump, and I cannot cannot wait to put it to put the blue one on the blue ray. I have this here silicone blue, uh, and uh, let me just put it here. So the longer one goes on six o'clock, and super easy. You don't need any tools. Like I said, I had to break out tons of my tools 
to just to remove the, the traditional spring bars and I think this I think this quick release spring bar should become standard in the watch industry it's just me so you need to find the hole it's always important to find the hole so when you when it's snapped in it's a good idea to do this so if you're gonna fail if you miss the hole now uh, not that hole <laughs> but it's always important to find the correct hole and super easy it snapped back in so what do you say guys the blue for the blue ray and red for the this is super cool funky look for summer and this is a good option for summer for uh, swimming for beach and uh, I prefer the red one the red one is the bomb so uh, what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna take it uh, take this on my wrist just to show you I love this how this color matches up uh, with the dial of the watch it's just gorgeous And this, I'm not a fan of silicone. This is a silicone rubber band, but uh, it's so soft that I don't know why I'm not a fan. Because the other silicone bands I had, the, the Seiko and other bands, and I don't know what to tell you. I have so many different bands, and every other day or every other week, I can have different watch, just. Because with these bands so I think this the you, you buy a watch on a bracelet and after a while you buy a bunch of different replacement watch bands and uh, I'm gonna take a photo maybe one more you have fun with you have fun with watch bands like um, I cannot just cannot stop staring this one uh, it's so nice uh, let me just quickly show you the wristwatch check for the orient oh, the red one is even nicer I don't know what to tell you guys I just love this shade of red this is like is this Ferrari red or not So you saw the watches before and now I have a funky super um, weekend watch to have with this one here with the red one I have also the blue one let me just show you <laughs> I'm so I love changing different straps it's one of my favorite things to do except for changing different watches but the watches are check this out guys This could be a cool thumbnail picture. All right. Now, I don't want to make this video a whole lot of big. So, I'm going to cut it here. And uh, put some other bands. And I saw uh, this quick release. Check this out. Just do this, and you're done. All right, now I put this brown silicone on the black Mako, and I think this works well. I love I love the combo of uh, brown and the uh, black one. This is super nice combo and uh, super easy to change I just love I love this quick deployment if anything else this uh, quick release strap is very nice and I will show you the quality of this canvas one again I don't like canvas bands because 
someone warned me not to tell anymore that my hands are a bit sweaty so I, d I don't want it to be soaked in the in the sweat and get that funky smell but you can see the the stitching here uh, around the hose it's all nicely stitched up and it's all nicely done but uh, canvas one I would prefer if I have to choose I would rather wear the, that red one uh, except for the canvas one but it's, it's definitely a cool look for this Orient uh, watch and uh, we have some more bands to show you but let's see this this could be a great thumbnail photo okay now I have two NATOs so I'm gonna change those and get back to you there is something about a weather NATO band that I just love and adore I'm not the biggest fan of NATO straps in general but when uh, when it's a weather one then I think it looks fancy so we have here two NATOs here this is a gingerbread cover uh, and uh, uh, just look at the, this detail on this NATO it doesn't have a hardware uh, it doesn't have these loops uh, metal loops but it's a piece of leather uh, so this is a super nice and something cool and also it won't scratch up your watch so the only hardware here is the buckle and I think this Orient black Mako looks really sexy with this one so quick let me just quickly put it on my wrist so here it is on our wrist so what do you say guys I think it looks very sexy I love this color with this light brown tobacco brown uh, in a combination with the black I think it just looks very sexy and suitable for autumn uh, autumn is coming winter is coming here so I think this looks very sexy but how about Ray? How about Ray? This is uh, another one here we have. This is uh, this is this color is gray, but they call it espresso on their website. Uh, by the way, the link will be in the description box so if you want to check the bands. Uh, so, what do you say, guys? Which one works better? Maybe I should switch them up. What do you think? Maybe I should switch them up to see how the gingerbread color looks on the one here. And that's what exactly what I'm gonna do. So, I think this espresso one works better with Mako. I think it will work better with Seiko SKS, the black one, 007. Uh, it's just gorgeous color. This is a gray, you know, they call it espresso. And I also have another one, which is also a gingerbread uh, band. So I'm not gonna, not gonna put a needle because I want a too long video, but this is a super nice gingerbread, uh, the leather one with the also quick release straps. And I have some for the needles. I just love this practicality of this. See this? I think this should become industry standard guys this quick release stuff uh, it makes so much uh, sometimes the really stubborn spring bars take all the fun away from changing watch bands and uh, oh, there we have a look take all the fun from changing watch bands and sometimes in the morning when you feel you want to put out brown shoes and color coordinate your letters and whatnot your shoes this will help you change it this in a 15 seconds you can sw switch up your um, straps and it will be so much more easier and fun so yeah guys this is it this was a little bit demo how to change uh, uh, look of your watch and how to have one watch and different 10 looks with 
uh, help of the leather bands and other bands, aftermarket watch bands. And uh, this here, I think this is perfect look for me. Uh, I'm gonna leave it on this one and this one on here. But how about those? The, the red look, uh, the red one, uh, this is summer look. Uh, I just want to ask you, uh, if you were me, what would you do? Uh, what kind of look, what look is your favorite out of all these looks uh, of these bands? And uh, just want to, I'm curious, I can, I really like this red one, but I also like this one, and this one's not bad as well. Uh, silicone bands, I'm very positively surprised, uh, the, the, these are very nice. And I think I'm gonna rock this one because just because the the leaves are turning color and uh, everything will be this, I'm just gonna blend in with this one. So, uh, me DC Gunner, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe, tell me what do you think, and uh, see you on the next one.